four of you here, or four of us. Let's, uh, you're in a, a position on the ground, Penny, so we might as well, we might start on the ground if you like. So, so laying down on your back, and you can perhaps have your knees bent if you like to support your lower back. And place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. Let's arrive in our yoga practice. Feeling the earth's energy underneath our feet and our buttocks and our back, our shoulders and our head. It's feeling nice and heavy in your yoga studio. Taking some nice deep breaths. Tuning into your own energy. Still a little bit of yogic breathing. So we're going to breathe in for four. Pause and then breathe out for four. And then in for four. Pause and out for four. So continue on with that breathing. Just tuning into your body, slowing your breath down. Coming into the zone for your yoga practice. The next 45 minutes are for you to work on your energy. The theme of today's practice is going to be optimism. We're going to be raising our vibration so we have a more positive imprint and light then helps others to have a more positive and higher vibration. Continuing on with your breathing. As you lay there and tune into your breathing, Imagine that you're covered in a violet light. The violet light is surrounding you like an aura and bringing in anything in your, any issues that you may have at the moment, bring them into that violet light and let them burn off. So any things that you're struggling with at the moment, just bring them into that light and let them all burn off surrounding yourself in that beautiful violet light. As we tune into optimism, it's about a happiness magnet. If you stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. And life is not always a matter of holding good cards, but sometimes it's about playing um, the best hand. And as you focus on optimism through your practice today, remembering that optimism is about freedom and surrender, freedom of accepting life on life's terms and surrendering to what's around us accept what is there rather than what expectations we have. Taking a few more breaths here. Just moving your knees from side to side. You might like to hug your knees up to your chest and roll from side to side or in a circle, giving your lump spine a nice massage. Scanning your body, noticing if there's any tightness or any pain, taking a deep breath in and then releasing all that doesn't serve you in a big exhalation. Another deep breath in and release all that doesn't serve. And then let's come up to a standing position. We're coming to downward dog or coming to downward dog first. 
So opening up our hands nice and wide, tucking our toes under, lifting our hips up and pressing our heels down towards the mat. Connecting with the stretch down the back of our legs. And let your head fall heavy. A nice stretch through the back of the legs, the lower back and the shoulders. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And then take your feet wide, wider than the mat. Walk your hands up underneath you into a wide-legged forward bend and let your head point down, the crown of your head point down towards the mat, towards the earth, opening up your hands, pressing the palms into the floor. Heel toeing your feet a little wider and then let your head fall heavy, let your shoulders fall heavy, surrendering into the position into a wide-legged forward bend. Let's take a few breaths here. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And two more breaths like that. Breathing in all the love and positive energy of the earth and breathing out all that doesn't serve you. Walking your hands slightly forward, lifting your chest, stretching out your back. And then heel toe your feet a little closer together, a slight bend in your knees and slowly bringing your body up to a standing position, stacking the bones on top of each other. Giving your legs and arms a little shake and bring your feet underneath your hips. Hands back to your left hand to your chest, right hand to your belly. Let's tune back into our breathing. A few more breaths here, softening your eyes, bringing that beautiful purple flame, that violet flame around your body, around your aura. And imagine yourself drawing up the energy of the earth up through your feet, up through your legs, and then up your spine, through your shoulders and your arms, and out through the top of your head. Let's release our hands and bring them up above our head. And let's exhale to the side. And then inhale to center, exhale to the other side. And bring our hands back to our heart. Inhale, bring your arms up. Raising our gaze, raising our chest. And exhale from one side back to the center. And then the other side. And then hands back to heart center. Let's repeat that a couple more times. Inhale, raising our arms, raising our gaze. Exhale to one side, to the center, and then the other side. Hands back to our heart center. And inhale, raise our gaze as our heart. And take it from one side and then inhale to the center and to the other side. And bring our hands to cactus arms and let's take our body from one side to the other. Just getting some movement into your spine. Keeping your hips facing forward. And then relax your arms, give your shoulders a little roll. And then back the other way. Bring your hands to our belly and nod your chin into your chest, stretching through the back of the neck. And then inhale, raise your gaze, looking up towards the ceiling, stretching through the front of the neck. 
And then exhale, bring the chin back to the chest. Inhale, coming up. And then gazing to the front, bringing our right hand over our head, dropping your left shoulder and gently bringing the head to the right. And then changing your hands over to the other side. Inhale as we change and then exhale as we just stretch our neck to the right. And releasing our shoulders, giving that little shake and little warm. From here, we're going to do our warrior sequence, coming to the back of the mat, turning the left foot out, step forward with the right foot. Inhale, lift your gaze, bring your arms up, raise your chest, bending the right knee and stretching up into warrior one. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Connecting with the stretch through the left hip. And then exhale, take the right hand forward, left hand back into warrior two. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, keeping it nice and strong on that right leg. Then inhale, lift the right hand, slide the left hand down the back of the left leg, reaching up as high as you can, stretching through the right side of the body. And then exhale, take your arms forward, clasp behind your back, lifting up through the chest into humble warrior. Gazing towards the front of your mat, Nice open chest, opening the heart. And then exhale, bringing your hands down to the mat. From here, you might have a block there. Just grab my block. So bring the, your hand down to the block. And we're going to inhale, lift the left hand, straighten out the right leg up into triangle pose. Gazing up towards the right, opening up through the chest. Take a couple of breaths here. Connecting with the stretch down the back of the right leg. And then exhale, bring the left hand down. Move the block a little bit to the left. And inhale, lift up the right hand and look up to the right hand into reverse triangle. Two more breaths here. Notice the stretch through the right glute. And then exhale, bring the right hand down to the mat. Inhale, come back up to standing. Bring your hands to heart center and bring your feet back together. We're going to do a little balance from here. We're going to step back with the left foot and bring our hands beside us and bring the left foot up off the mat. So coming into aeroplane pose. So we're lifting the chest, balancing on the right leg. Let's take a couple more breaths. And then inhale, come back up to standing. Give your legs a little shake. Nice work. Oh, we've got another little one join us. Hello. Okay, from the other side, let's start this time with the right foot slightly turned out and step forward with the left. As we inhale, we're gonna lift our chest, bring our arms up, raise our gaze to warrior one and noticing the stretch through the right hip. Really reaching up nice and tall, taking a few deep breaths here. Then take the left hand forward, right hand back, gaze to the left hand into warrior two squeezing the shoulders and lengthening out through the hands, nice and strong through the left thigh. Inhale, bring the left hand up, slide the right hand down the back leg into reverse warrior. Noticing the stretch through the left side of the body. Let's take two more breaths. On the next exhalation, bring the right left hand down behind you, clasping your hands together, lift your chest, keep the left leg bent, the left knee bent. 
and stretching out through the shoulders, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. One more breath. And then release your hands down to the mat. Bring the block just inside the left foot. Bring the hand onto the block. Inhale, lift up the right hand and lengthening out the left leg into triangle pose opening up through the chest and connect with the stretch down the back of the left leg. Let's take two more breaths here. And then as you exhale, bring the right hand down, move the block slightly to the right and then inhale, lift up the left hand into reverse triangle. and connecting with the stretch through the left glute area. Let's take two more breaths. And then release the left hand down to the mat and then slowly come up to standing and bring your hands to heart center, bring your feet together. And then we're gonna to go to warrior three or triangle pose. We're gonna step back with the right leg Bring your chest forward and bring your arms beside you. If you need to hang on to a wall or something, you can. If you need to bring your foot down to the mat, you can. Let's take a couple of breaths here and then come back up to standing. Give that little shake. Let's do another little balance here. This time we're going to open up our toes and our right foot and move our hips in a circle. So we connect with the three anchor points underneath the right foot, one near the heel, one near the little toe, and one just behind the big toe. From here, we're going to pick up the left foot and bring it across the front of the right thigh. A slight bend in the right knee, and then bring your hands up to heart center, bringing your chest forward. So this is a tree pose variation. We're stretching through the glute on the left side. So anyone that has a lower back stiffness, this helps to release it. Keeping your chest up nice and tall. Let's take a few more breaths here. Find your drishti point to help you balance. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job and give it a little shake and we'll take it to the other side this time we're opening up the left foot and moving our hips in a circle noticing the heel and behind the big toe behind the little toe the three anchor points and we're going to pick up the right foot and bring it in front of our left thigh a slight bend in the left knee and then bring your hands up to heart center Bring your chest forward till you feel a nice stretch in your right glute. Find your drishti point. Keeping your body nice and still, coming back to the center of balance. Just quietening down the body. Let's keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Give it a little shake. From here, we're going to go into a downward dog. So let's take our feet wide and walk our hands forward. And then bring your feet a little closer together, pressing the heels back to the mat, lengthening out through the back of the legs and the shoulders. Coming back to our theme of our practice today around optimism and being positive, raising our vibration. Let's take a few deep breaths. And then bring our body forward into a plank position. From here, you can bring your knees to the mat if you wish, slowly lowering your body down to the mat. And then inhale, untuck your toes. Inhale, lift up. So you can lift up to an upward dog, opening up the chest 
and then tuck your toes under, come back up to plank. And you can always have your knees on the ground. Exhale, slowly lowering your body down to the mat. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Raising the heart, squeezing the buttocks. Tuck the toes under, come back up to plank. And then slowly lowering down. Inhale, lift up nice and strong through the chest. Tuck your toes under, the last one. Coming back up to plank again. Bending the elbows, slowly lowering your body down to the mat. Inhale, lift up through the chest. And then exhale, tuck your toes under and come up to downward dog again. Let's walk our, hand, our feet wide, walk our hands up underneath us. And taking a few deep breaths in a wide-legged forward bend. Just coming back to your breath, settling your breath down. Let your head fall heavy, let your chest fall heavy. Noticing the stretch down the back of the legs. And then slight bend of the knees. And slowly bringing your body up to standing, one vertebrae at a time. Stacking the bones. And then bringing your feet back together. We're going to do a chair pose next. So having your legs and your feet together. I might go side on so you can see. We're going to, as we inhale, we're going to bend our knees, bring our chest up and bring our arms out to the side. Sit. And then exhale, we're going to come back up to standing. Sit. And then inhale, come back into chair pose. And we're going to hold it here. That's it. Chest up nice and tall, nice and strong through the legs. And then exhale as we come back up to standing. Let's go a couple more rounds. It's a nice deep squat. That's it. Good work. Chest up nice and tall. And then come back up to standing. And one more. This one we're going to hold for 30 seconds. So inhale, come down to your chair pose nice and deep. Go a little deeper this time. Chest up nice and tall. And take some nice deep breaths. Keeping it nice and strong through your legs. Chest up tall. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good work. Come back up to standing. Give your legs a shake. Okay, from here, we're going to step forward with the right foot. Bring your hands down beside the right foot and slide the left leg back a little. Coming into lizard pose. So getting a nice stretch through the front of the left quad and through the right hip. Then we're going to inhale, lift up our right hand into a lizard twist. Noticing the stretch through the right glute. Nice and strong through the left hand and wrist. And then exhale, bringing the right hand down to the mat. And then step the right foot back into plank. And step our left foot forward. That's it, sliding the right foot back and noticing the stretch through the right quad and through the left hip. Taking a couple of breaths here. Then inhale, lift up the left hand and looking up towards left hand into a lizard twist. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here. And then exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat and then step forward with the right foot and coming into a wider legged position, that's it. And then 
bending our knees, bringing our chest up nice and tall. So you can come to here and hold it, or you can come deeper into a yogi squat. That's it. Yeah, so using your elbows to press your knees out nice and wide, chest up nice and tall. Let your heels go down towards the mat and let's hold this. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Yeah, so coming down nice and deep. Good. Taking some nice deep breaths here. You can close your eyes if you if you want to just try your balance or keep them open let's go five four three two and one bring our hands down to the mat and lengthen out that legs coming into a forward bend taking your feet forward and let's take a few breaths here stretching through the back of the legs Let your head fall heavy. Coming back to our theme of optimism and positiveness and raising our vibration. Just giving your hips a little circle here, stretching through the hamstrings. And then coming down to the mat, onto your back, hugging your knees up to your chest. So hugging the knees in nice and tight and circling on your lumbar spine, releasing any tension that you might have there. And then take the circle back the other way. Keeping our feet off the ground and our knees up to our chest, let's take our hands out straight out from our shoulders and slowly lower the knees to the right side whilst looking to the left. So it's a little bit more intense twist than what we normally do. And then bring your shoulders down to the mat so you get a nice stretch through the front of the chest as well. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Feeling this, this twist through the spine and stretch through the chest. Then inhale, bring your knees back to center and looking straight up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your knees, both knees to the left side, look to the right side. Settle your knees down to the floor or just above the floor, whatever feels comfortable for you. Settle your shoulders down onto the mat. And take a few breaths. Notice the twist on the body and the stretch through the chest. One more breath here. Then inhale back to center with your knees. Hug the knees to the chest and roll it round in a circle again or rock from side to side. Lowering your feet down to the mat, bring your heels close to the buttocks. We're going to go into a bridge pose. So we're going to lift up our hips. Inhale as we lift up our hips, pushing through our heels and bring our arms over our head to the ground behind our heads. Squeezing through the glutes. Keeping your chest up nice and tall. Tucking your chin into your chest and then exhale, slowly lower your body back down to the mat. Bring your hands down. Walk your heels a little closer to the buttocks. Inhale, lift up again. This time you can bring your hands over the top or you can hug, bring them underneath and clasp them. Walk your shoulders close together. Really squeezing through the buttocks, pushing through the heels, chest up to the chin. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Hold this pose, opening up through the heart and then exhale, release your hands and slowly lowering your spine down to the mat. Hug your knees up to your chest. 
rolling that in a circle and reaching up to the outside of your feet coming into happy baby pose lifting your hand your soles of your feet up towards the ceiling and flattening out the lower back stretching through the back and the legs let's take a couple of breaths here and then coming back to the theme of our practice the theme of optimism and raising our positive vibration let's take three breaths And then releasing your hands and rolling up to a sitting position with your legs out in front. That's it. Coming up onto your sit bones, lifting up. And then inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, bring our hands forward towards our toes, our ankles, or our shins. And gazing towards the toes. Let's take a few breaths here. Connecting in with the stretch through the back of the legs and the lower back and the shoulders. One more breath. Then release the hands, coming back up to sitting. And we'll bring our legs out in front, bending our left knee, bringing our sole of our left foot in beside our right thigh. Inhale as you lift and lengthen the spine and exhale, fold forward, bringing your hands down towards your right foot, gazing towards the right big toe, allowing your knee to come down to the mat. Let's take two more breaths here. And then releasing your hands and swap your legs over. So bring the right foot in next to the left thigh. Come up, lift yourself up so you're up on your sit bones. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Just notice how this side feels compared to the other side. Surrendering into the pose, taking a few breaths. Coming back to accepting what is rather than having an expectation. Our body is different every day and it's different from one side to the other. One more breath. Then release. Bring both legs out in front again. Come up onto your sit bones. Give your legs a little shake. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Open up the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Flex in the toes and holding on to your feet or your ankles or your shins and noticing if you can get a little bit more stretch this time taking a few breaths here surrendering into the pose one more breath and then release I'm going to lay back down onto the floor with our legs bent, coming into pigeon pose. So keeping the right foot on the ground, bending the left knee and bring the left shin in front of the right thigh. Hug that left shin towards the chest. You might like to reach through the gap in your legs towards the right thigh or the, the right shins and hug that up to, nice and tight into reverse pigeon, releasing any tension in the left glute. Surrendering your back onto the mat and your head. One more breath and then release your hands, but keep the leg crossed, bring the right foot down to the mat, arms out to the side and bring that, bring your body to the right side. So you're coming into a twist. And noticing the twist through the left side of the body. Surrendering into the twist. Take a couple more breaths. You might like to use your right hand to draw that left knee a little more to the right side. 
Then inhale, bring both knees to centre and swap your legs over. Left foot to the mat and lift up the right leg and bring you across the front of the left thigh. Hug that towards your chest. So into a reverse pigeon again. Hugging that in, you might like to hug the right leg towards your chest or reach through and hold on to your left thigh or the left shin, depending on how that side feels. Let's take a, another breath or two here. And then release your hands, bring the left foot down to the mat, but keep the right leg twisted across the front. Draw the right knee to the left side while you look to the right. So coming into a twist on the right side of the body. Try and bring your shoulders down to the mat so you get a nice stretch through the front of the chest as well. Using the left hand to draw that right knee a little more to the left side. Two more breaths here. And then as you inhale, release the hand, bring both knees back up to the chest and hug them in to rinse out your back in Apanasana. And from here, we're going to go into our legs up position. So you might like to bring your legs up next to a wall or a piece of furniture or come into a shoulder stand, whichever feels right for you today. Or you can place a block or a bolster underneath your lower back to come into a supported legs up. So, that's it. so once you have your legs up, moving our ankles in a little circle, Give our legs a little shake as we stimulate our lymphatic system, shifting any fluid that might be in our feet or our ankles, bringing it down our legs towards our lymphatic lymph nodes in our groin area, taking the feet out nice and wide. And let's take some more breaths here. Bring the feet together, knees out wide like a butterfly. And then lengthen the feet back up into the, towards the ceiling. If you're in a shoulder stand, you might like to bring your feet over your head towards the ground behind your head and release your hands down to the mat. Just take a couple more breaths. And then on the next inhalation, just controlling your spine back down to the mat and coming into a nice relaxed savasana position for your relaxation at the end of your yoga practice. So all, after all the movement, coming into some stillness now for the next five minutes or so. If you have a bolster, you can place it underneath your knees. If you have an eye pillow, you can place that over your eyes, getting nice and comfortable, taking three deep relaxing breaths on the mat. So after all the movement of your yoga practice, coming into a nice still position, allowing your body to enjoy all the beautiful energy that you've generated. As you come back to your breath, imagine you've got that beautiful violet light surrounding your whole body like an aura. Wrap yourself in a violet light cocoon. Imagine any, any thoughts as they come and go, any negative thoughts can be burnt off with the beautiful violet flame. 
drawing up all the positive energy from the earth underneath your body, underneath your legs, your lower back, your upper back, your arms, your shoulders, and your head. Drawing up all that beautiful energy from the earth, helping you to raise your vibration and the positive energy. In front of your closed eyes, you might see a mind screen. There might be some colors there. Just let them come and go without any attachment. It might be violet light or green or yellow, or it might be black, whatever it is. Remembering that optimum Optimism is a happiness magnet. If you stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. Giving yourself freedom, accepting life on life's terms and surrendering to whatever is there, whatever it is, rather than having expectations. Coming back to your breathing, noticing the floor beneath you, lengthening out your hands and your legs, wiggling your fingers and toes, slowly rolling on to your right side. And when you're ready, Come into a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. And then raising our hands to our forehead for kind thoughts, to our lips for kind words, and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you for your beautiful yogic energy today. Thanks for being 